نحمده نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So the question is is it permissible to brush your teeth whilst you are fasting um, with a rosa or not? Two-fasted question. First of all, is it permission, permissible to use a toothbrush on its own? And the answer is yes, it is. It is completely permissible to use a toothbrush to clean your teeth. There's no questions or issues with respect to that. The discussion arises with respect to is it permissible to use toothpaste or tooth powders to clean your teeth with a toothbrush. Now here there are differences of opinion and the first thing that I do want to establish here is that this is an ijtihadi musla which means that the ulama have used the usul of law and the sources of law to extract the um, basis of the permissibility or the impermissibility of certain actions um, they are not centered around black and white do's and don'ts which shariat has given us so they're ijtihadi masail and there can be differences of opinion on those with respect to brushing your teeth with toothpaste according to some ulama they say that it is permissible to use uh, toothpaste however it makes your or renders your rosa your fast makruh so it doesn't invalidate the fast it doesn't break the fast it makes it makru in other words it's uh, an undesirable action um, so it might reduce the status or the reward attached to the um, fast according to other ulama they say that no it's not even makru it is permissible now whichever of these two opinions you follow the fact of the matter is that the delil for this, the evidence for this, is the fact that the Prophet ﷺ permitted the use of miswak during his lifetime and that was sunnah. So cleaning your tooth with miswak is permissible during fasting or otherwise and is in fact sunnah. So it's an act which receives reward. Now, when we use toothpaste, the objections are number one, it has taste therefore we should not be able to use a uh, toothpaste on that reason Again, number one that objection is invalid why because miswak has a, a taste there are a number of different trees from which the um, uh, branches of which are used for miswak and they have varying tastes um, there is one particular tree which is the neem tree which is used uh, in the Middle East and in the Asian subcontinent that is a very very bitter taste it actually tastes stronger than toothpaste itself so if that invalidated the fast then uh, the Prophet والسلام, would never had allowed miswak to be used so that's the first objection which is nullified the second objection is that it you can what if you swallow the toothpaste well of course the condition of the toothpaste being allowed is the fact that it isn't swallowed and that it is spat out and again on this point when we use miswak again the the tree branches which is of course the source of what miswak is they are branches of trees or twigs of trees they depending on how fresh those miswak are how freshly they've been cut off the tree they actually contain sap so when you brush your teeth the sap or the substance inside the actual branch itself comes out and it coats your teeth it gets into your mouth so that has a, a similar uh, situation as toothpaste does so again, if sap comes into your mouth or um, fibers of the miswak come into your mouth between your teeth, then we do not swallow them. Um, we spit it out. Likewise, with toothpaste, we spit it out and we ensure that it is all spat out. If there is any issue uh, where the toothpaste is swallow swallowed, that would invalidate the fast, that would break the rosa. If you are unsure and you think that well 
I can't be sure that if I use toothpaste I won't end up swallowing any. any. If you're unsure, you can't guarantee that you won't be able to um, not swallow the toothpaste, then refrain from using toothpaste and don't do your toothbrush with toothpaste. So that in a nutshell is the masla with respect to brushing your teeth with toothpaste during Ramzan. Essentially it is permi permissible however if there's a risk of swallowing your toothpaste then don't do it and on the back of this I just want to mention that some people say well brushing your teeth obviously it leaves the fresh smell of the mouth of the toothpaste of the mint peppermint etc what about the hadith of the prophet والسلام, that the smell which emanates from the mouth of the person who fasts is more delectable it's more desirable to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the scent of musk well in response to that the smell which emanates from the mouth of a person who fasts is not from the mouth it's actually from the stomach it's on account of the fact that the person has not eaten or drunk anything for a number of hours and as time passes that that smell actually emanates from the stomach not from the mouth so what the 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 miswak again is the same principle that leaves the that kills the the smell in the mouth the toothbrush or toothpaste will kill the smell in the mouth but what you again you will find is that after some time when that the smell of the miswak or the toothbrush um, is has gone then again that smell from the stomach will uh, continue if it was an issue that using the toothbrush masks your your smell if that was an issue then the same issue would apply to uh, miswak but again the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam permitted miswak Another point that I do want to mention with respect to this is that water itself also has a taste. So again, the other issue that people raise is that you're putting something in your mouth, you're putting toothpaste in your mouth. Well, we put water in our mouth when we are making wudu, when we are doing ghusl, we rinse our mouth out with uh, water if putting something in your mouth broke your fast then it would not be permissible to put water in your mouth so likewise when we take care when we put water in our mouth to rinse our mouth out during wudu or ghusl um, and we ensure that we spit all the water out we don't swallow any in the same way when we use toothpaste we spit it all out make sure we don't swallow any and again we will use water to rinse our mouth out and ensure that all the toothpaste has been washed off the inside of our mouth and our teeth to ensure that it is not swallowed at a later date again water also has a taste um, in sharia it is recognized that water has three properties once one is its smell one is its color and one is its taste so again if tasting invalidated the fast then washing your mouth with water would invalidate the fast and break the fast but it doesn't